Good day, everyone. Um, today I am scheduled again for another video, and um, I would love to discuss to you a sample program. Program. Uh, it's it is actually a, a programming problem, and we will try to to address and uh, create a program that will eventually target a particular problem. Like for example, um, if uh, the program demands us to enter any character value and then uh, let us evaluate, uh, the program will, 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 will demands also us to evaluate a particular character value as to whether it is consonant or vowel, okay? So it's uh, a very simple program, but then I would just love to share it with you so that um, um, in your programming journey, uh, you might as well be flexible as possible, okay? So in here, um, the problem is this. Design a program to ask for a character value and uh, determine whether the entered value is vowel or, or, or not okay so I actually created a program for this and I would just not like to share it with you and discuss it line by line so as for you to, to understand the, the logic of the program okay so in here um, I'm sharing my screen um, I did use online notepad um, I this is the usual you know line on first line include stdio.h then followed by the main function in main so when you say in main as your as your function so at the end of your program you you need to return something right because it is an integer main function so at the end of the program you will have to return at least a zero value okay that's part of the the syntax okay? or else the, your program won't run no? okay in here um since we are demanded by the problem to, to 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 ask for a character value so it is i think logical for us to use uh, to, to declare what a certain variable as a character variable no so in this particular example i did use karak okay karak as my character value or you can you can simply change this to x no car x right so meaning any character uh, that will be stored to that x will be tested as to it is either it is a constant or a consonant or it is a vowel character okay and then in here we'll try to change it to x right because we are we are declaring x as our character value so enter a character value then whatever value is that that will be stored to x and i did use person c because i i my x here is what it's a character variable Okay, are you following? Now here, um, actually we can we can use if statement, the laterized one, or we can even use the else if statement. Depende, right? Diba? I, I told you that you know in my previous video that programming is an art. No? For as long as your program targets the problem, then that's it. That's good. Now in this particular example, and for the sake of sharing to you my idea, this, for the sake of discussing things. Um, I am using here switch statement, okay? I, I did use switch statement and I have to change this one to X, right? Um, in here, I, I did check as to what is the value of X. If it is A or capital A, small E or capital E, small I or capital I, I did check the value of X. If any of this condition is true, from A, A, E, E, O, O, right? These are actually what? Vowel values, vowel characters. So if any of these conditions is true, then my program will display whatever is, is the character is a vowel, right? And I, I need to, to change this to X, same with here. And if this, if any of these condition won't become true, meaning the, the value of character X is not a vowel. Or you can say um, 
is consonant okay is uh, is consonant right okay so then it turns i uh, will try we'll try running this program let's see if it will run okay uh copy and paste oh where's my online okay so we'll try to we'll try to open our online compiler all right uh, see in here online compiler okay. uh, for us to execute the program and see what's the what's the screen output right so um, this is now my, my my online compiler so in here I would just have to you know to paste my, my program okay I'm sorry it's a little bit loading in here yeah here this is now my program okay that I did discuss a while ago um, I declared X as a character variable and then I, 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 I did ask for a value and stored to X eventually and on the next series of lines I did check as to what is the value of X whether it is a vowel value or a consonant value that's it okay so now we are ready to execute the program click run let's see what's the screen up okay so it's quite a little bit you know loading but um, I'm pretty sure it will it will run okay so here uh, for a while uh, see can you see my can you see my screen so the program now is asking for a character value say for example uh, um, I will input uh, not X because <laughs> uh, it might confuse you uh, because I, I did use X also as my as my variable but in, in a way you can still input X okay because the character X that I declared in my program is a different X that I'm going to feed in while my program is running right so let us say I will input or I will supply capital letter G G as in Junel when I press enter K that G will be stored to X and eventually the value of x will be tested as to whether it's vowel or consonant then we'll press enter k so here g is consonant which is correct right so we'll try again um let us say small letter key press enter k k is consonant okay so 50 percent the program is correct let's check if this is still correct letter a what is this? Small letter A. A is a vowel. This is correct. Last example. Last value. Capital A. Right? Capital A. Presenter. A is a vowel. So, therefore, if you are to create a program that will check if a particular, particular character value is a consonant or a vowel, you can either choose any, any conditional statements like if if else um, nested if or ladderized if or you can use the switch statement okay so in here I, I would just like to emphasize the series of case here commands are actually conditions to check whether the value of x is small a capital a cap, uh, small e capital e and so on and so forth these are actually all vowel vowel values uh, uh, the, the the switch statement is looking up and if, if, if any of this condition becomes true then this part will be executed okay and uh, if all of these case statements in here are false then this part will be executed okay so more or less that's that's the idea behind this program um i hope in this uh, very short video of mine which i did discuss a very simple program uh, it adds another know-how in your case and uh, will give you at least flexibility in your journey in your programming um, journey okay so thank you so much for now thank you so much for watching this video i i hope um 
you will share this video you will share my youtube channel to your friends who are you know uh, aiming and uh, um, uh, wanting to learn C programming language like I said when you are to learn C programming language it is as good as you are trying to learn the, the entire uh, IT world I mean uh, be good in C programming and uh, if you want to migrate to another programming language it, it is going to be um, a, a, a smooth uh, sailing on, on your part because your foundation in C programming is good Okay, so thank you so much. Um, I hope I shared something um, uh, very useful today in your programming journey. And um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, God bless you. God bless us all.